Hey guys, it's Elizabeth of ERWplans.com on Instagram, ERW underscore plans, on Etsy, ERWplans.etsy.com, and on Patreon, patreon.com slash ERWplans. Today, we're going to talk about how to do a meal plan in your passion planner. Now, um, for some of you, this might be kind of a no-brainer. You'll like meal plan, of course. I have the sticker from Chelsea Brown Designs shop. Uh, it's a meal plan and you just fill it out and voila, you have all your meals right there. What you know more is there to kind of figure out. And yeah, that works absolutely great if you just want to write out kind of what you're doing for any individual week. Um, for example, my dinner's here, or if you're, you know, tracking your dinners, this is a good way to do it. But for me personally, I like to get a little bit more detailed with my meal plan um, and have some flexibility to it as well. So I'm going to show you a way to do your meal plan without stickers. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to bring in my passion planner small and the tools that we will be using in this planner. First things first, um, I've already stickered this out, as you can see. Um, real quick, these are the sticker, the days of the week from Chelsea's shop. These are the healthy habit stickers from Chelsea's shop. I've got this uh, BGM washi tape here. I think it's a uh, five millimeters in width, so it's almost the perfect width for the timeline cover. And then we've got the weekly weigh-in and reflections sticker from my shop and the weekly meal tracker sticker from my shop. Um, because my week for the purpose of Weight Watchers starts on a Friday, it's stickered Friday through Thursday. The meal tracker is stickered Friday through Thursday but you can get this stickered uh, Monday through Sunday, Sunday through Saturday, whatever. Okay, um, real quick, I will just go ahead and wash you over this space of infinite possibility here. You don't have to if you're fine with having that there. I'm turning this into a shopping list, so we're gonna grab our slice tool and any kind of straight edge that you happen to have on hand. Just cover that up there to go with the color palette. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start using my mild liner highlighter to set up my breakfast, lunch, and dinner sections for each day. Um, you can do this however you choose. I like to kind of keep them in the time blocks just about where I would eat. So we have like 8 a.m. 12 and five, and it gives it a good balance because I'm not a big breakfast person. So I, you know, don't need as much breakfast space as I do like lunch or dinner. Sometimes I will make lunch like my main meal. Sometimes I'll make dinner my main meal. So it's kind of up to you. So we're gonna just go ahead, get these all out here. Go ahead, grab your, um, in this case, this is the uh, Tombow Flex Point pen. And we'll just go in right breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If I was trying to be really fancy, as you can see, it allows me to do calligraphy with the one pen, but you can also just use it as a really dark black pigmented pen. So lunch, dinner. And I would just go ahead and do that all the way across. Okay. Now at this point, what I'm gonna do is start filling in my meals in advance because I'm meal planning, not meal tracking here. Um, couple of things. By the way, these are what the stickers look like. The meal, what, weekly tracker for the meals, weekly weigh-in and reflection tracker. Um, 
what I'm going to do, because this is small, I'm using a really teeny tiny pen, and I'm going to go through and start filling out what my breakfasts are going to be. Um, I'm doing, I'm just writing in coffee for every single morning, because I'm doing this for health and fitness purposes, so I know I'm going to have coffee every morning, and I know that with cream and sugar, that's three points, so I'm putting my three there next to where it says coffee on every entry. If you're not tracking points, calories, macros, whatever, you could just write out what you need. There we go. So much coffee. And then I'm gonna go in and fill in the days where I know what I'm having for breakfast. That's Monday through Friday for me. And I am a creature of habit when it comes to my breakfast. So, um, I'm going to just do a super fruit smoothie. It comes out of eight points. And I'm going to leave Saturday and Sunday open because those are kind of variable. Um, maybe I want to go grab brunch with somebody. Maybe, um, I just want to, you know, make some eggs because I have more time. So I'll have something healthier. Maybe I just got to grab something to go. And let's do this. But I'm going to leave two open to be flexible. and then put in the rest of the points here so I know what I'm working with. Okay, now at this point, this is where we're gonna start um, doing things a little bit differently than you might normally do. I've got my um, little, what do we call this, uh, stencil here, and I'm gonna start doing my check boxes for my grocery list. Trying to keep these as even as possible when I'm working here. So my rows don't get a little crazy or too crazy rather. That's why I always line up the last two boxes with the first two boxes to try and keep everything as neatly as possible. Okay. And then I'm going to do this on the side here. right in with my other shopping list. And then I'm going to start writing in the things I need for my breakfast. So I need my coffee. I need my silk vanilla creamer. Takes care of the coffee. I'm going to need frozen blueberries. Oranges. Vanilla yogurt. And pomegranate juice. Now, how I plan out my meals is a little bit different than how you might plan out your uh, dinners. Because my week starts on a Friday, that's when my points roll over for Weight Watchers. Um, I tend to leave that one open as my, if I'm going to go out to eat any night that week, it's probably going to be Friday night. Or if I'm going to drink, it's probably going to be during the weekend. So, I'm going to skip Friday for now. We're going to move on to Saturday. And that will be spaghetti bolognese night. So we'll have spag bowl, which is four points for the sauce and eight points for the pasta, I think. So that's 12. And then I will have the red wine, which is four points for five ounces. We'll assume I only have one glass. Um, 
so that would be 16 and then I have you know flexibility in here so I'm just gonna go ahead with that first dinner and write in what I need okay and then I will go ahead and do another row for my shopping list let's see it's a little ruler here so that was about five and then probably more like four and a half here more like four here okay so then we just we would draw in more little rows So then I'm just gonna one short. So then I'm just gonna keep going, basically making decisions about what I need for dinners um, on the number of points I have for the week and for the day left. And also based on what is already on my list. So for example, maybe I wanna do like chicken marsala on let's say Monday on Sunday night or Monday night. I think Sunday night because that'll go good with the rest of my red wine. So I'll do chicken marsala. Which comes out to be, I believe it's six points. Then I need farfalle. Which is another six. And spinach. Which is one point the way I make it. And then we have red wine, which is four. That finishes up my bottle. Now I don't have to rewrite in red wine, which is already here on my list. I do need to write in, or chicken stock, which is there. I do need to write in chicken breasts, mushrooms. Spinach, the basil and oregano that I used here, already used here, um, and Marsala wine, which I know I already have, so I'm not going to put it on here. What I would do, though, is write it on here and then check it off if I knew I already had it, okay? I'm going to leave that alone for now. So, as, so what, what you can see here is I'm then going through and making the rest of my dinner plans based on the ingredients that I already have in the house. Um, and I'll do something similar for lunches, like, oh, I bought spinach here. I could have like a spinach and strawberry salad on Monday. So we'll just keep going here. I'll do chicken Lenny's because I already have chicken breasts. And then I just need cherry tomatoes and arugula and red onion and that's that the salad and breadcrumbs and olive oil and lemon And then here, since I'm going to have to do this, we can do since I have my red onion here, I can go in and like make my lunches avocado toast with red onion. Or red onion jam. Because that also uses red wine and uses the red onions. And so that will be my lunches for the rest of the week. And then I just need avocado and fresh bread and honey to make the jam. All right, oh, and fire roasted tomatoes. And that's my lunches. 
and then we'll do Asian chicken salad. Two more nights where I need to plan out dinner. What I already have is cherry tomatoes, so we could do the sea bass with a tomato chutney, and that requires chopped sea bass and chives. All the other ingredients I already have, and then. For the last night, we will have leftover that one is four. This one is twelve. And this is eight. So then I can just go ahead and go through and add in all my lunches. Now I can go ahead and add up my points. So here, for example, I would have 16, eight is um, 24, 27. So I know I have three points for breakfast here, you know, kind of figure these things out. Um, and then on days where I'm pretty low on points, um, then I can go in and add like a snack line, add whatever I'm getting to the snack from the snack line to my list or anything that I know I regularly will buy can go on my list. Um, for example, like I usually get fresh fruit, so I'll get out some grapes and apples. Um, I went with meals that I already know the ingredients for because I make them all the time. Um, if I wasn't planning this on camera, I would totally have just a stack of cookbooks and this would take a lot, it'd be a much longer process. Um, you might even need to add in like a little flippy panel, which you can see the video on my YouTube channel to, on how to add up a flippy panel like that or a flip out panel like this. Um, but that's basically how I'd go. As I add a meal to my list, I add all the ingredients and then I try as the week goes on to pick meals that use ingredients that are already on my list so that I know, for example, I need to buy, uh, let's see here, one, two, three onions. Okay. Or let's see, one, two, three pounds of chicken breast, etc. So once I've got all those down, I'll go back in, add in how much of the these ingredients I'm going to need. And then, or like red onion here, I need two or three. There we go. Um, and then I can literally, because this is the Passion Planner small, I can literally just take this whole book with me when I go to the grocery store. Before I do that, however, as I kind of alluded to earlier, I'm gonna go through with all the ingredients for all these recipes I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna say, okay, what do I already have so I know I don't need to buy more of it? Um, in my case, I've already gotten the chicken breasts, so I can just go ahead and check it off. Um, I've already, I know we already have tomato paste, so check it off. And I know my basil and oregano I've got, so I can check those off. I definitely have sugar. I definitely have garlic. So I will go through my kitchen cabinets, check off the things on the quote unquote shopping list that I already have in stock, and then go to the grocery store and I have a list that covers every single thing on my meal plan. Now, if something changes during the week, you can always, of course, white it out, line it out as you're tracking. And that's why I'm not actually, I've got the points in here to help me create the meal plan but I'm not putting them into my weekly meal tracker because you know, some nights I'm just dead tired or sometimes I'm just out running errands and I'm like, oh God, that really smells good. So this is gonna be how I track what I actually eat. This is more of the 
what I think I should be eating this week. And that, again, as I go through the week, I will either, when I've eaten it, add it to my tracker, or when I've eaten something else, white it out, scratch it out, whatever, and add in the actual points for the actual thing I ate. And that is how I use my passion planner to do my weekly meal planning. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and share with your friends. We go live on Wednesdays at 7 a.m. Mountain Time, uh, but always if we go live on a different date, such as for a Passion Planner launch, Amplify Planner launch, or for any kind of live Q&A, the best way to get notified is to subscribe. So go ahead and click that little subscribe button. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and stick around for the next video.